we will be hosting the renowned Hebrew evangelist, Bishop Doug Ewan Mills, for a five day crusade and pastor's conference from 5th to 9th of March 2024. This campaign is being held under the auspices of the Healing Jesus campaign in collaboration with the Father of Christ in Liberia. The evangelist Dr. Ewan Mills is going to be the principal speaker. The Son of God who has served in the ministry of the Kingdom of God with a great distinction and has impacted many lives and ministries throughout the all his preaching, teaching, and leadership conferences. Dr. Mills is a well sought after speaker internationally. He is frequently called upon in declaring the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ from nations, even to continents. He has been welcomed in continents and numerous churches across the globe. As an evangelist, he carries out not just the preaching of the gospel, but uh, signs, wonders, and miracles and coordinate his ministry. He also engages in pastoral leadership conferences. He was in Liberia in 2012, and while in Nigeria, he ministered in seven cities from Banga to Ganta to Kakata to Mikena, Zedru, and the whole is including Rausko and Monrovia. This time around, he is scheduled to be in Nigeria, and we are excited about this. We want to inform the U.S members of the press, that this is going to be an awesome event. His conferences held in Ghana and other nations are international by a distinction. And so we expect that this conference would be nothing less than that. As the mother of Christ, we are collaborating. It is not one church that is hosting him. The Council of Churches are involved, the Assembly of God are involved, the uh, AEL are involved, and just the whole nine yards. We believe that this will be a tremendous event. The nation will be blessed, souls will be won into the kingdom, pastors will be shopping in the approach to ministry, and the nation will be transformed to the group of God. No matter the situation, we must life, family, nation. All it takes is God's presence. And such a time as this to have one of God's leading messenger of our time to call in his schedule to come to our country. It's a great privilege and it's a great opportunity. Personally, me as a pastor, I have passion for so many and God has blessed his servant. His outreaches are at the higher level where great numbers of people, souls have been won into the kingdom of God. So my commitment is to help fortress the passion he carries that from March 4th to the 9th, it will be a great, great turnaround it will be a great visitation of God in our nation, Liberia. And we want to challenge all of all pastors. This is based upon your cooperation. It will be a great benefit that you will reap spiritually. Souls that are going to be won during these campaigns. So let us build our efforts together and make sure that this crusade will yield maximum results. As I sat here, I was just running through uh, some objectives of this campaign. 
in an hour, really played an order that he did not just come to um, uh, like most church, uh, churches of pastors. He came to the body of Christ. All because when he goes to a nation, he collaborates with the church. And now, as I was looking at some of his objectives, I mean, one of them is to win as many souls as possible for Christ in every local community that we go to. And this is what we are all about. Your church in your community, your denomination in your community, wherever God has called you and sent you, I mean, we labor to win the laws of our cause. And there are times and seasons when God raises up international evangelists, especially the one that we have, the evangelists like the Dr. Williams, who will come to join us. Another thing I just saw is to encourage and strengthen the heads and efforts of local pastors to be able to do more through pastors' conference. I can't wait. The last time he was here, we had a wonderful pastors' conference, and my life was transformed. My life was impacted between that time till now. I am looking forward to new events, new revelation, new uh, impartation, so that we and the people that are lead, not just the pastors, but the leaders and the members, by the time we go through the time of pastoral conference, I believe that there will be a difference. And I believe that sponsors step up to collaborate and to give you unite and network. Your ministry will experience another dimension. Your ministry will experience another level. Because the people that you pastor, sometimes you do what you do. But when God brings somebody from a greater dimension, from an apostolic day, international and global day, come and join you to say some things you then say. But there are times that people with greater level of anointing and grace, when they say it, the impact just is made, and it makes this thing easy. So we are quite honored and blessed to be here with our chairman, Bishop Dr. Um, George Jonah Harris and the other pastors and bishops and leaders, overseers. We are here with our heads put together. Man, great things are about to happen in Nigeria. I strongly believe that we have the season of harvest. All the way around the world, the summit of God has seen the decade up to uh, 2023 and the decade of church planting and multiplication. And I believe that this is a time of impartation in our nation as we expect to receive the servant of God in this country. I believe that he needs our partnership. And there's a reason why we have agreed as the church and as the denomination to partner with other stakeholders, religious and spiritual stakeholders in this country, so we can move this to power. Some of us have the opinion. That the way to take over this country is not by legislating, but it's by evangelizing, it's by preaching, and by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and of regeneration. And when we have somebody of this nature coming to, to visit us, to pass by, we believe that this is time of spiritual impartation, this is time to receive. And this is how we need to call on all the churches, all of you know, our pastors. In the summit of God of the Rome, the countries in this country, and all ministers and priests in this nation to join us, even, even as we strive to make sure that this food state becomes second to in this country. This meeting speak about the prophetic utterance in one life media. The season we are in, God is doing something very unique and different. The hearts of the people are so ready and ready to receive. After we pray that God give us peace, give us leadership, that we are 18 days into our new leadership. And God is sending a great man of God who is about to lay the hearts and put the people to where they should be. I know when I say many people will give their life to Jesus at first and very real this time. And people will know the power of God that has worked so strongly in our land. So I encourage you, mothers, Daughters, sisters, wherever you are, hospital, schools, market, to all the government institutions, you are very important in this crusade. Without you, I am telling you, we will not, not do much. 
But the power of a woman is the influence of the world. So this is the time for you to speak to everyone around you and let gather and speak like you have done the top. I believe surely in my spirit, God will speak out in the season. But the men of God will come and bring fresh oil and pull oil in that oil, give up the new oil to move forward. That's what I'm reason. And I don't want you to be left behind because you think you are a woman. Very important in this season. Come and be blessed. I know God will be lifted after all of this great movement. God bless you. And I believe that this crusade is coming to Nigeria. I don't say it as an ordinary crusade, but I see this crusade as a crusade to impact lives and to release mantles to the extent where Liberians will rise up in the spirit and begin to travel from nation to nation to also raise um, the battle of Jesus Christ. As a result, I don't want us to take us easy, I want us to take it, take it lightly. I want us to be serious about this crusade. Every time God wants to bless a nation, God will not send a lazy doctor. God will send a prophet. Every time Israel cried out to God, the answer that God gave to Israel was a prophet. As a result, I believe that this is a prophet that God is saying to our nation to declare over our nation so that God will put the image over Liberia. And I believe as Liberia has opened a new chapter, our nation will never be the same again. God bless you. Once we call on all of us to be a part of this crusade, let's try to make it possible so that our nation will rise to the level and dimension that God wants us to go. Thank you, God bless you. I feel that we've entered in the darling of the new day. It is one thing to read a book of an author. It's another thing to listen live to the author. We believe that a great servant of God is about to touch our land. I am encouraging all of our pastors, sons and daughters from the Jubilee ministry to be a part of what God is about to do. Now here, we believe that God is lifting this nation. We are not gathering as a church at this time. We are gathering as kingdom citizens because when it comes to the church, it is an organization. But this one is for us to impact the kingdom. So all of us in Liberia, we believe that we should gather at the Sabbath kind of those source complex on the day's schedule to be able to break down heaven here. And we believe that God is going to move in a great way. You are welcome from the mainland churches, the other churches, and everyone we affect them all over. And we believe that God is going to show himself short. Come on, come on. It is evident that as Bishop Dark visits Liberia, even at this time of transition from one government to the other, that this is not an ordinary move. We believe that churches and pastors, because God has a heart for pastors. He has the spiritual ability to take ordinary people and turn them into men of God through his teaching, through his you want to call it informal teaching. And we believe that as we, as it comes here this year for the, 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 the crusade, but especially for the conference, for the pastor's conference, that there's going to be great impartation. And when the pastors are affected, it's going to affect the, the churches. Bishop Black has the, 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 the gift of church growth. Most of his churches are mega churches. And this is what we need. Because there are still many, many, many souls that are lost. As we have a church on Sunday morning, there are thousands of other people on the street selling and doing all of that. As we attend these conferences, we are going to be imparted the, the body of Christ, the workers in the church, 
are going to learn how to go and win souls, which is the main thing for the church. Bishop Doug has also the ability to affect nations as he visits them, especially with his prayer. So we are blessed to have him coming, especially at this time. And we all must work, we all must do everything we can as we lead uh, 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 towards the day, as we launch this uh, uh, campaign. Our agenda uh, in Liberia is very similar. We believe that there is a mandate given to us to come and join the fathers of the city, the fathers of this nation, to bring to pass what God has put us to Liberia. The star in your flag is not just a design. You are meant to be a star in Africa. And we believe this is the time for you to take the lead for Africa. And we show that believes that he's been sent here by God to help you the body of Christ, the churches, the fathers, to explode and take over Africa. Uh, we will be happy. I'm sure you know Ghana and Liberia have a wonderful relationship. So we'll be happy to see Liberia taking the lead since you have the staff and we follow you. Another objective of this campaign is this. We believe that the revival is in Africa. Our agenda is to come and help, encourage us to take over. When the missionaries in America and in Asia and England will have the Revival, they sent missionaries to us. We believe it's our time, Africa's time, to go and take the lead in Christianity. We also feel that during these days, when the evangelist comes, we believe that God is going to move mightily. It's not because evangelist God is bringing anything to you, but because he will be with his brothers, the senior fathers. And we believe that God is going to move mightily. We are expecting that during these times, the lame will walk. We are believing God that during this time, blind eyes will open. We are believing God that during this time, the sick would receive strength. And I came to tell you that watch out. During these five days, power, the power of God, will be present in your country. During these times, businesses that are going down will come up. During this time, men and women who have been looking for things, searching for things they have not got, will get. Because, not because the idea was just came, but because the people is now. And all that they have imagined to do, they will be able to do. That's what our Bible teaches us. So we want to use the press to encourage, to spread the word, to tell the people. Um, you don't need to be a Christian. When you enter the hospital, you don't ask whether the doctor is a Muslim or a Christian. The most important thing is that you have a problem and you want a solution. We want you to announce to the people of Liberia there is solution time now. And we are inviting every single person to be present with us. And let's see what God is going to do. We believe that for us, uh, Bishop does mention to me this is the first international evangelist to come with this new government. It is not by accident. I think God wants to do something. And we want to encourage you, don't leave yourself out. If you know anybody sick in the village, bring them. 